The following video has been approved by the Jetty marketing team. The video has been rated Jetty. The following video may not be suitable for all viewers. G'day mate, welcome back to Dyson Sphere with me, Jetty. And today, today, in case you couldn't tell from the title of the video, we're going to be playing with copy and paste. Now, I should mention right at the start, copy and paste is not in the game properly. This is a mod. It is definitely a mod, okay? So, expect bugs, expect problems, uh... Especially when it comes to sorters, because uh, that's really the function this this mod adds. So, um, let's do a quick demonstration of how this works, because I'm sure you guys have set up, you know, a smelter before. With you know, let's smelt some brick, and then we're gonna copy and paste this half a dozen times, and then we're gonna go to our logistics. We're gonna get some sorters and say in and in and in and in. And in more in with some outs Oop, and outs and outs and more outs and more out. oh, we've all done this before we know how long it takes good news is mod developers are here mod developers are here to save our risk so uh copy and paste shift to copy paste shift to copy and paste and um I have no idea how many smelters we're up to, but I gotta say, uh, from now on, every single smelter block is definitely gonna be at least blue belt only. Oh, look, done! Woohoo! Uh, so much less time spent. Um, over here, I have, like, like, you've probably done this before. If you've played Dyson Sphere a little bit, you've probably set up a logistic station just to make, you know, good old circuit boards with, you know, some iron and some copper being delivered and, um... Well, we only got one sorter. The other one. Oh, no, no, no. That one's definitely connected. It, it, it looks bugged. It looks wrong. But it's working. Um, input. It looks wrong, but it's working. And that's what really matters. Okay. Uh, there, there, there. Now, I am expecting this to crash at some stage. At some stage, I am definitely expecting, like, if I copy from the wrong side... You're importing from that side, exporting. Yeah, yeah. Like, like the mod is... The mod works. The mod works. And that's the bottom line. Uh, if you try and copy something that doesn't have the belts, it will fail, obviously. So you're going to have to make sure you put down the belts first. But it definitely works. Now, I will definitely tell you, do not. Do not set up steel smelters. Uh, if I put that one there uh, with power... Apart from the recipe being wrong, the sorters are also going in the wrong direction. Yes, so we're going to have to reverse our sorters uh, to now set up iron smelting. And, you know, for a quick bit of gear production. Uh, oh, there was. And then power, 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 power. And then if I was to put a single assembler on this side with a in and an out and set you to make gears because we can, we should now be able to very quickly and easily duplicate the hell out of that. And apart from the graphical glitch of things not lining up correctly, it just works. Every single one of the assemblers is pumping up and down and doing things, so I can't say I'm unhappy. Uh, now, I will mention, okay, I will mention very quickly, uh, because I definitely didn't break the game already trying this out. Uh, if I put down a second smelter, uh, production smelter, right here, with an output belt going this way, and set you to do steel. Bear with me. Bear with me. Uh, give you guys power for the input. And first, first, first off, okay. First off, I'll mention this. Uh, to do steel, uh, if you copy and paste them separately. 
or do, you know, a bunch of iron and then a bunch of steel, that's perfectly fine. If you join the two together with direct insertion, uh, everything's fine, everything's fine, everything's fine. Uh, error message from hell. Um, so you have been warned. You have definitely been warned that, you know, should you accidentally do things in the wrong order, everything might stop. Good news is there are autosaves. Go back and load an autosave. But apart from, like, monumental clashes, it works. And I have said repeatedly, if I could have copy-paste that works 50% of the time, and this works way better than 50% of the time, I am sold. Because... Uh, I have been manually setting up on our lovely Cybertron planet, which you can see more of over on Twitch. I do stream it every weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday night. Uh, production lines like this, just over and over and over and over. It's been, um, uh, I've put down a sorter or two and a belt or three. And in fact, I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven more production lines that are going to have to span from this quarter of the map to this quarter of the map after green science has been ripped up along with, you know, the information matrix and whatever else. So, uh, without the way, um, I should really tell you guys how to install these mods. The first thing we need to do is we need to go into the Dyson Sphere modding portal. Yes, that's right. Uh, the modding community community has already made a modding portal where you can find not all but a lot of the mods so what we want to do is we want to download the r2 modman dsp okay it is a mod manager for dyson sphere we're going to manually download that you're going to save it somewhere on your hard drive and then as soon as it's finished downloading we're going to open it up and run it so once you've got it and you've run it we're just going to install it. So a couple of quick clicks away and we're up and running. So once this is up, it's going to do any checks for updates as lots of things do. And then we need to select a profile. Okay. Uh, I only have one profile, so that should do. And then we need to go to the online mod. So the very first thing we're going to want is we're going to actually need the BEP in X. Okay. This is the mod plugin framework so that's going to be the very first mod you're going to want to grab so download uh version number yep download with dependencies done and then the next one the one we actually did was copy inserters so we're going to download that one uh download with dependencies they're both installed we're going to start a modified playthrough and then it all it will automatically launch dyson sphere for you with uh the mods already set up and running and then from there, you just want to load your last save, which in my case is uh, one of these. And that should put you back on planet with hopefully, do I have stuff on me? No, we'll have to make a quick pit stop in our little interplanetary logistics station. Uh, with some, well, what are we gonna want? We're gonna want some belt. Uh, I have some sorters, we're going to want some assembly machines, and that'll do. That'll do. Okay, and then from there, we can obviously lay down our belt, as we always would. Drop down a assembly machine, drop down the belt on the other side. Assume again, we just want to make gears, set the recipe for gears, give ourselves a input and an output. And then copy, paste, 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 done. With that, you now have a mod, lovely, uh, a mod installed. And with the mod manager, it's going to be very, very easy to grab more mods. On top of that, you are now going to be very, very quickly and easily able to double, triple, quadruple your base. With all that said, I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you guys for watching, as always. If you're interested in more mods like this or more tips and tricks and tutorials that sort of stuff by all means click the like button uh, at the same time 
if you're new here definitely cl click the subscribe button on the way out lastly on your screen hopefully roughly about now is a lovely playlist it is all the tips and tricks i've done so far along with looking at a previous mod which was a mass dismantle tool which is sort of been superseded with the new upgrade and dismantle um, that we can now do to just rip up all the belts instantly but you know it still helps if you just want to mass dismantle everything and you don't want to just target the belts with all that said as said thank you guys so much for watching i do hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next video all right bye